Okay, look it up for yourselves now or later. It's not about okay. looking up. You you clearly don't know Arabic. You can look it up later if you want. There's Hafs, there's Warsh, there's Duri. That's three I can mention off the top of my head. No, no, no. no. There's no. You could say no right now. Yeah. No. But I'm telling because, you, go because home. Because we're actually Muslims. You're not a Muslim. I used to be a Muslim. Yeah. So anyway. Really? Did you yes, know Arabic? Really. Did, did you know? Did so hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, are these guys Muslim? Are you guys Muslim? Yeah. You guys Muslim? Do you guys know Arabic? Yeah. All of you know Arabic? Yeah. Okay, fair enough. Are there any Muslims that don't know Arabic? Yes. Yeah. Yes, so there you go. So I said to him, I used to be a Muslim, and he said, you know Arabic. And I, I, I'm, I'm trying to say there are Muslims that don't speak Arabic, so does that make them not a Muslim? Because the most the Muslims read Quran, the Quran, it's all the Quran, Arabic. It's, 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 not it's in English. It's, it's, in, it's in Arabic. Yeah, it's in Arabic. Yeah. I know the Quran is in Arabic, but I'm saying you can be a Muslim and not know the language. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay, there you go. To be like, you have to say something in Arabic, yeah. What's that? You have to say something in Arabic You're Muslim? Once. You have to say something in Arabic once? The Shahada. Yeah. And I know, I understand that, but you can still be a Muslim without speaking Arabic. God is, God is greater than a language. Okay. You want to come here? You want to come here? What's that? No, no, he's telling me. I, I think he was saying I'm not, I, I wasn't a Muslim before because I don't speak Arabic. Oh, you were ex Muslim and you converted to Christianity? You're born again Christian? Yes, amen. Yes. All right, look, his, uh, his uh, what was it called? Followers, Jesus followers? Yes. What were they? They were Jewish. They were fishermen. They were Jewish. They were fishermen. Sure, they were fishermen. Some of them were. Yeah, they did not know any. They couldn't read. They couldn't write. They were fishermen. They weren't educated. Some of them. Some of them could read and write. Greek? Some of them could read and write. I think. I believe so. Just watch this. Zakir Naik. I would debate him any time. I would talk to him any time. But would he debate? Very good question. Listen, guys. We can debate all day. But like I asked him, I said, are these arguments what's stopping you from coming to Christ, to know Christ? Because put aside the arguments, put aside the arguments, we have a spirit in us, a ruh. How do you know? You're going to die, you're going to die, your body's going to die, but your spirit, your ruh is either going to go to, as you know, to Jannah or Jahannam. But you didn't die and tell us. No, it's not, no. But Jesus did. That's what I was telling my friend here. No, no, just to go like to the, to the God, so, then after, then after, so will everyone die then after you know you go to jannah or to go like to okay so he just said look no matter so you what can't, you can't i just hold on, hold on so he just said after you die you know so i haven't died you haven't died none of us here has died so we don't know jesus has died and risen again that's what amen jesus died and rose again no offense but muhammad he died he didn't rise again okay so that's the reality that's the reality because he's not supposed to he's not supposed to what he's not supposed to exactly so jesus came for one minute Mission. There is eternal destruction after his, you know the, the second for what? coming why, why did Jesus come to save humanity there you go as a Muslim he even admitted as a Messiah yeah to, for the second coming against the Jad so you're preaching Christianity so I'm not preaching Christianity but you answered my question so Jesus all the religions but I'm not keep preaching I'm just what's that I'm just saying what it is yeah, exactly so there you go so earlier I was preaching that people should know the true Messiah the true Messiah yeah because you can know a false Messiah a false Jesus like Isa in the Quran he's a false Jesus he's not the true Jesus. Yeah, and, uh, uh, no, but look, Jesus, the word Jesus, it did not exist. English did not exist back then. I'm using the word Jesus, Jesus as an English no, look, translation. I, 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 was like, I think his name okay, so like Jesus. It was a, he was a Jewish man. Yeah. He was a Jewish man. His no, name was Yeshua. Yeah, sure. yeah. Jesus in the Greek. Yeah, Jesus. Okay? And then Yesus. and then in Arabic it was Isa. Well, I don't because, know where Isa came from. Because no, it was when you when you translate it in Arabic. That's not true. Where are you, where are you from? Where are you? Iraq. Where are you from? Palestine. Palestine, okay. Palestine. You Palestinian? No, Iraqi. Oh, right, you're Iraqi because your your uncle was yeah. Iraqi. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. I mean, listen, man. Uh, at the end of the day, look, I used to be a Muslim. Whether I knew wait, Arabic wait, or stop. not. Wait, wait, just stop. Why'd you leave? I saw the love of Christ. Okay, I read the, uh, the Gospel of Matthew. Okay. Chapter 5. As a Muslim, when I was 21, I'm 38. So 16 years ago, a friend of mine gave me a New Testament Bible. He said, read the Gospels. I didn't want to read the Gospels. I didn't want to read anything. Academically, I just didn't want to read. Yeah, that's so it. When you grow up, you know, it's Allah. Oh, so you weren't connected Allah. to Islam. 
So you Quran weren't collected? So, no, no, no. So, uh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Don't I didn't, uh, do you pray five times a day? Yes. Listening, so okay, so that's mind, good. That's you know? good. I didn't pray five times a day. Yeah. But that doesn't make you infallible. Praying five times... <laughs> So What's he saying? Are you saying about as well yeah, like saying uh, like when your father, your, your mother, your your family, yeah. it's a Muslim. Yeah. So when you grow up, you don't want to be look at like to the like back, you know? Yeah. Like so you start like you to, to increase him, your you know? faith by praying. Okay. Like for instance, yeah. uh, do you seek refuge? You don't want to be like against are, the, the okay, devil. Okay. So I am Muslim. You came to here, you said no. Well, I'm not Muslim. Islam, but it's wrong. Uh, this is read this one. Read that. No, no, no. I don't need that because already my family. And my whole family, mm -hmm. whole Islam, you know everything. I'm gonna start from him. I don't want to be like you came anyone to me. Uh, read this, read mm -hmm. that, mm -hmm. show this video. You know? Okay. Because I, I know, know that Islam is only point. one. What's the main point here, guys? What's the main point exactly? <laughs> you guys get you guys so, in circles. So God we believe in at the end. So he was asking me, "Where's the Holy Spirit in the Bible?" I tried showing him, but then the topic changed to, um, what did the topic change? I mean, you guys brought up a couple when of did you different things. Islam? When did you no, that didn't come up. But anyway, right now we're talking about. We're talking about, uh, I was an ex-Muslim, yeah. 16 years ago, I read the Gospel of Matthew, I saw the love of Christ. What Je does that mean? That's Jesus that's said in Matthew 5.44, you can Google it for yourself, yeah. he said, you've heard to love your neighbor and hate your enemy, yeah. but I say to you, love your enemies, so bless, you love those, bless those who curse you, you think about that without the Bible? pray for those who hate you. No, is that in the Quran? No, well, well, it's not. It's not. It's in every, it's in every religious. It's book. not. It's not in every religious. Book. It's in no other find, book. You but if you look for something, you're going to confirm your bias to it. What I'm telling you is, you right now you can I fact check this. I want to know where the love came. That's what I don't want to understand because that's where the faith from Jesus. From Jesus. Like, yeah. that's so, that's so like your that. your religion is like emotionally how? right? No, no, just about. No, it's not. It's not. All I'm saying is what 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 changed my heart. Is I found something in the Angel in the Gospels that is not in the Quran. And then you read. And then I had a dream of Jesus. I woke up and I knew that he was the son of God, that he's Lord. And that's a revelation only, only, only the Father can reveal to you personally. Then I read the Gospels and I understood that Jesus died for my sins and he rose again the third day. And that's a historical that fact. That's a historical fact. When you look into history, he did die. Jesus of Nazareth. Yeah. He died exactly. But Surah Al Nisa, chapter four, he it says Jesus did not die. Exactly, Jesus did not die. So you guys have a choice. You can believe history. Who, who you can. That they said they you can, according to you, that was Judas yeah, or Judas. someone who resembled Jesus. Yeah. But that's a deception of Allah. That's mean? yeah. Yes. How did he look like? It doesn't matter what he looked like. No, no. He looked Middle no, Eastern. Yeah, have a dream, yeah. <laughs> so he looked to be answer, right? He looked, mid he looked Middle yeah. Eastern. Oh, okay. Dark skin, dark complexion. But if we Blue eyes? Your dreams, then my no. Are you sure you are drunk? I was smoking weed and driving girl well, drunk yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, guys, guys. Streaming. Are you guys good people? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we're good people. people. You're good people? Inshallah. Inshallah. You're good people? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so you're going to go to Jannah? We hope so. No, 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 no. No one. No, and Islam. You don't know. Islam. So why are you guys talking to me if you don't even know where you're going? We're, we're okay. No, no. Look, 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 look. Look. Only God you know decides. I know where I'm going. We, we where pray because I'm going that's what to our purpose the presence is. of God. I'm going into the kingdom. Why? Because your God died for your sins. He accepted it. Because a substitute happened. Okay. Look. Listen to me. That's my father-in-law. Okay. That's my wife's father. If someone were to shoot him, I would take the bullet because I love him. Okay. okay that's that, that's that's if, love. If that's it's love. Going by himself. So how will you know if someone shoot him, right? God. If I saw that someone was going to shoot him, I would go and take the bullet because huh? I love him. I know. Okay? Okay. Now, the love of God is even greater. The Bible says, while we were enemies of God, enmity, the word is enmity, separated, we're enemies of God, God sent a son and he died for us. Why were the enemies back then? What's that? Why were the enemies? No, no, I'm oh. talking about you. Tracking. I'm yeah. talking about you. Yeah, but, but, You're an enemy of God right now. Why? Why? Because you've sinned. Your sin has separated you from God. But everyone has original. But Islam, Islam does not. I'm not talking about original sin. I'm talking about your sin. Islam does not emphasize this. You guys just admitted you're good people. But all Christians aren't all Christians born but sinners. Bro, bro, I literally. Everyone is born in sin. How? How? Everyone. Sorry to stop because yes. I agree with some. Because when we were born. Yes. God, like now the new now the new uh, pride problem, whatever. I'm not talking about that. It was Adam and Eve, okay? Yes. Sir. God created them, okay? Yeah, Adam and Steve. Did you see that video? Yeah, video. I put it on my Facebook, not Adam and Steve. <laughs> so you were born, there was one uh, sort of stuff. Yeah, no, no, but on. when Adam and everybody was clear, nobody had mistake, okay? 
First mistakes, first mistakes start when they kill each other, the boys, check? Yeah, yeah, the two, the, boys, the yeah. two of them. Okay. When the sins start, so whatever, lots of sins come after and after. So this is the sins that start. Jesus came and he said, I'm gonna save, save everyone so from this baby, sins. Okay. Yes, yes, you were. But, really? but 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 you guys, not you. It make the sense people, some, some it does. But the born, people uh, who don't like the truth, they don't tell the mentality to accept it. That's why you have to love the religion. How can for I you, it doesn't make sense. sense. No. <laughs> but sorry to say that, not you, but for others saying like you don't make sense. We don't care. For us, it makes sense because oh. we know what we're saying. So, right, so, so since he died, since he died, oh, who he? Uh, Jesus. Who is Jesus to you? No, as in for you guys. For anybody Muslim, no, for whatever, you, I know a lot of Muslims no, beside me. Since he sacrificed what himself. What is Jesus? Every, every. He's a Messiah. Holy, every holy Bible talk about Jesus. He's a prophet. Because Jesus was made people. People are second mind. You know what they say? God made love and brought his son. You need people to think. You guys don't think too much. They say when we call Jesus son of God, people think, oh, God do anything? How can God do this? God create everything. He sent his Son on the earth from the Why does God need a son? Why he need you or me? No, what why, do? Do, no, why does he need a son? Why? To save you. To save. Uh, okay, what do you mean how? Why, what is better why, than you, He doesn't why need a son, God. God. So, God. so why other people so, do you think are better? Can I, can I ask that? Can why, would, why would God put us on the earth? Of course. Of then drop us. Why would God need a son? It's the God that's in here. 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 It's the he doesn't need a son. I'm going to explain the title son, okay? So Jesus said, if you're a son, you're not a slave. That's in the Gospels. You're free. You're free. You, you gain inheritance. As a son, your father gives you inheritance because you're a son. Okay? Free from what? What's that? Free from what? Free from being a slave. The Egyptians are the most so you're either a, you're either I'm going to use the word dog. You're either outside and you're a dog, or you're inside the house and you're a son or a child. Okay, so Christ, the title son, it just shows the intimacy, the closeness of of his relationship with his father. Jesus said in John 14, "I will not leave you orphans." You guys know what an orphan is? Yeah. I will come to you. So. That's the love of God, is He adopts you into His family and makes you a son. Okay, so when, when we talk about the Son of God, He has all the inheritance. He, he has authority. Jesus said He has authority to give you life and, and uh, to judge as well. Okay, so since He gave us life, what is our purpose? Your purpose is to know God, okay? And do as well. That's 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 what your purpose. I don't know God in the remote community. The Bible says, I'm gonna read you guys a uh, verse. Can I read a verse from the Bible? Okay, okay, okay. So let me let me read this. Just tell us which chapter it's in. It's in Acts chapter 17. Okay. What type of uh, uh, Bible is this? New King James. New King James. Oh, okay, that's the standard. Edition. So Acts 17. Listen to this. Verse 26. So the question was for you guys. What's our purpose in life? And how do we know God? What about the people who don't know God? Okay? Acts 17, 26 says, And He, God, has made from one blood every nation of men to dwell on all the face of the earth and has determined their pre-appointed times and the boundaries of their dwellings so that they should seek the Lord in the hope that they might grow up for Him and find Him, though He is not far from each one of us. So God has pre-appointed yeah, go for it. Verse 26. God has pre-appointed our dwellings, our boundaries. He's put each of us... So He knows the future. Of course He knows the future, but He's put you here for... The, this is a divine discussion. He knows the future. How does He know them before? The that verse says that God has pre-appointed you guys here pre so that you may seek Him and find Him. And find Him. That, that's, that's, what knew that what's greater than knowing God? What's that? What if some people don't find Him and He knew that in the, in the past because He has predestination? That's why. What if people don't find Him? Yeah, and, and He knew it. Well, and they're still dogs? God, God is gracious. He's so merciful. He, he's going he's gonna to make I mean, an opportunity for everyone to I, know. What if, everyone, what if someone misses all of them? And then well, the Bible says that your conscience knows that God exists. Yeah. Everyone has a conscience. But he still knows the future. 
He knows the future, yes. So he knows who goes to hell or not. Oh, of course. So why does he create you in, anyway if he knows you're not going to accept him? Why does he what? Sorry? Why does he create you when he knows you're going go so to go to hell? So you have free will, you have free will, you have free will, I have free will. Okay? We're not robots. God has not forced us to believe in him. Maybe the option. Yeah, exactly. Know, yeah. So we, we all have free will. But he knew the option. Okay, so but you have a choice to... God shows us. God shows us. So God doesn't know. The truth and we, See, we, the accept, we either accept it or deny it. Exactly. That is, that is the choice. Exactly. So, so if, if, we, if he does not give us the truth, mm -hmm. then, 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 then what's the point? It's pointless. Yeah. Because he knew the future and he knew we were going to go to hell and he starts to... No, so anyways, knowing the future that. doesn't I mean, mean you don't have free will. Anyways. You have free will and he knows the future. He knows what you're going to choose. But that's yeah. that's on you to choose him but but you choose to not choose him. But you have to you want to choose your life. But he, but he want to go to the hell? If you exactly. Want to go to hell, you? So, so the Bible says... The Bible says God desires all to be saved. Of course. His heart all throughout the Bible. That's what I agree with. I agree with this. We're all, we're He's patient so and he wants all to be saved. But you have a choice to receive him. Or to deny him, Jesus what said, you deny him? Like, and you'll be condemned. And, that, and so he knew the, he knew this option. He knows that. that. Take. So yes. why he make There's you no in point. the first place? Why he make you knowing the option? So he he he, he, he had malintent. You have co we all have common grace. We all can breathe. We have We're alive. You have a heart. You have a sound mind. But then there is the grace of God, which is the free gift of God. That he gives to you if you receive the Holy Spirit, if you turn to Jesus. If you deny it, that's what I'm trying to tell you. If you deny it, you don't get that grace, you don't get, you get eternal and life. And then you get eternal help. Yes. Isn't that kind of malintention? Like he knew the future and he still gives me help? Well, that's in Islam. In Islam, Allah predetermines... What does that have to do with Allah Islam? No, 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 I'm saying, if you flip the tables around... What does that have to do with Islam? That's, that's like a common contingency. Like if you flip the tables around, Allah in the Quran so says the that he's already predestined you Either to heaven or to hell. Yeah. So, so, so you're agreeing. It's so that's even worse. No, it's not. Because God in the Bible has not predestined us to hell. He knows foreknowledge is he different than predestination. Well, but it's a predestination in the book. Well, God is all knowing, so He knows so he this. Knows. But, but we choose either to not to accept or deny is the revelation. Okay. So what's the problem with that? You guys just arguing on which revelation is true. You see the the point here? Foreknowledge, knowing the future. And predestining yeah. is two different things. But God has all of them because He's all knowing. It doesn't matter. God in the Unless Bible does not predestine people to hell. So He doesn't know their predestination. He's not all knowing. No, no, no. You guys are misunderstanding the attributes of God. I just, I just see a clear contradiction right here. Yeah, no, no, no. So it's a clear contradiction. knowing the future is not predestining the future. But you never know. In between, but he knows this. In between Him creating you and knowing the end of you is free will. But he knows the end. He before, knows the end, but the that doesn't mean he determined the but end. But he knew the end before the start. That's then who are you getting my point? Are you guys getting my point? Yeah, I'm getting your point. The thing is this. If we are in dialogue, we should have this like intention to accept the other's point of view as well as the other needs to have the same intention and the same predisposition. So the thing is, yeah, well, because I, I, I see you're trying to like, whatever. No, no, this I'm is. Not, I'm not understanding. You're not hearing me. So, I'm not understanding. So, uh, uh, okay, it's so. The same thing. It's like, no, it's not. It's not. So, God knowing the end of you. So, let's say, I don't know how old you are. Okay? He created you over here. Okay. And He knows the end of you. Okay. In between this is free will. But before the start, does He know what's going to happen? Hold on, I'm just trying to explain. He knows the beginning and He knows the end. Okay. He's given you free will to choose what's going to happen to your soul. Okay. We're, not, we're not disagreeing. Predestination is different. Predestination is the opposite of free will. It's taking free will out and God destining you to hell or heaven. Not your choice. No free will. Is it the same God? No, no, but, but it's, because yeah, you're yeah, saying yeah, that. Yeah, exactly. Is it the same God in Islam yeah. as in Judaism? As in, that's that's doing the, the same thing? The God of the Bible does not predestine anybody to hell. And the God of Islam is doing. He does, yes. And, uh, th 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 these, these are two gods? Two gods, exactly. No. Not really, are you a Muslim like, or a Christian? No, I'm, I'm nothing. Okay. I'm just trying to choose. Okay. So, so are there two gods? Uh, let me, there are two gods. Uh, let me explain. Okay. So one god in the Quran. That's the first. Uh, uh, yeah. That, think, uh, so the god of Christianity is not the god of Islam and the god of no, Judaism. No. So that's actually how I came to Christ. Uh, can I explain something? Yeah. Go ahead. For those that have not had like, there's between like, uh, the generations that the prophets have not been, like, been there. Yeah. There's people that have just been living their lives. Yeah, not knowing anything about religion or stuff like that. On the day of judgment, God will test them whether they go to hell or heaven. So it's not about choice, but it's by the test. 
You understand? So, so in Islam, it's 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 yeah, it basically sure. yeah. the same God. Yeah, for you guys. same God. It's only one God. No, no, no. So who the, who the judge? Both so and, then, and, then, and then my question is this: Does Allah have a son? No. No. Okay. No. So the God of the Bible has the a son. You said, this is Allah father? Is Allah father? No. 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 So the God of the Bible, He's a father. Okay. Next question. And then, does Allah have? Is Allah the Holy Spirit? No. no. So God, the Yahweh is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is God. It's a three exactly. Yeah. So that, that's just three examples showing you that Allah and Yahweh, the God of the Bible, are two different gods. So in Islam, you have to do good deeds, and that's what's going to hopefully, inshallah, bring you to Jannah. Mm -hmm. Will it, in the Bible, God says your good deeds are like filthy rags, a filthy cloth. What about a baby? It's like your sandals, okay? No. Because we've all sinned and we've all fallen short of the glory of God. God is holy. God is good. If you die What's that? No, we didn't fall from heaven. By the definition, no, that, that, that's what Islam teaches. So, how, so the question next is how how can we go to heaven if it's not based on good deeds? What brings us into heaven? The, the Bible says the grace of God. I explained it to you guys earlier. Yeah, Allah is the most merciful, but I just said to your friend here. Mm -hmm. That in Islam you have to do good deeds to make it to heaven. Is that true or is that is that false? No, yeah. I mean it's it's, it's a, a good, good it's, it's a big a factor thing. of it, but yeah, you never know. Allah is the most forgiving. Allah. Exactly. Like, so Surah 11, 114. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to read from the Quran. Surah 11, 114. It says, And establish regular pr prayers at the two ends of the day and at the approaches of the night. For those things that are good, remove those that are evil. So those things that are good, remove those that are evil. Be that the word of remembrance to those who remember their yeah. Lord. Because it pleases God. The tafsir, Ibn Abbas says, Verily the good deeds remove the evil deeds. This is saying that the performance of good deeds is an expiation of previous sins. So that's Islam uh, uh, forgiveness of sins. Is you do good that's deeds. Yeah, there's many ways of expiation of sins. But I'm telling you guys that in the Bible, if you check, you can fact check this, go on Google. Isaiah 64 verse 6. Isaiah writes that our good deeds are like filthy rags. Oof. Before God, so if you imagine presenting a filthy cloth to God and saying, "Here, God," He's not going to accept it, because we've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've all sinned. So what do we have to do? Then? Uh, Thank you. Thing. Thank Look. you. So that's a good question. What do you have to do? You have to repent. Repent is to change your mind. Okay. Tauba in Arabic. Change your mind. Change your understanding. Deny yourself. Deny your identity. Deny what you think you know. Reborn. No, no, you can't do that on your own, man. You, you have to seek. Because Jesus said, seek and you will find. Okay, so when you're boring, when you're boring. Yes. So you have, like. Wait, changing like, your mind. No, no, no. Like, so when you're boring, mm -hmm. so you see, like, um, you have, like, chose to eat that, right? Mm -hmm. Then after, you change your meal because I don't like it. No, no, or so I right now, <laughs> right now, the Bible says that uh, there's a way that seems right to a man. But the akhirit, the end, is the way of death. So it, it may seem to you, your perception may seem, oh, I'm going the right path. But the end is the way of death. So you have to change your path, you have to change your mind, you have to seek the truth. I was once there. Okay, so that's you, that's okay. Can, can I ask you a yeah, question? Yeah, go, go for it. I just asked the lady over there. Yeah. Uh, I was telling her, what's the point of living on this earth when God, God put, <laughs> sorry, God put you on this earth so he could test you, right? Exactly. So test, you, test you, right? Yeah. So you could either go to heaven or hell, Islam right? Well, test. here's the difference. The, the Bible says God does not test you or, or tempt you. Okay, so if, if test by test you mean like he tempts you whether you're going to do that's good or evil? I mean, kind of, but like that, what that's, I'm trying to... That's, that's Islamic theology. Yeah, yeah but just one second. Man, that's Islamic man, theology. So I don't fully believe in that. Mm -hmm. But go on, continue. But what I was saying was like the whole point of being on this earth, right? Yeah. Like we're not we're not just roaming the earth for nothing, correct? Oh, we're, like, we're here. We're here. What the I answered him earlier we're here for one purpose the main purpose is to seek God and know him <laughs> of course there's other purposes right you know finding a wife is a purpose there's value in that obviously you know getting married you know having children being fruitful you know uh, loving one another but our main purpose is to is to seek God and to know him yeah but why would God send his son uh, his son down here to die for your sins God works in mysterious ways but he sends he sends him here 
sorry, I'm not that good in explaining, but sends him down here to die for your sins, correct? But what's the point of putting us on this earth if you're just going to do that? At that point, we're just roaming the earth for nothing, you know? Like, he, he, sent, him, he sent him here so he could die for your sins and you can make it to heaven, correct? So look, look, look. The fact that God sent his son, the fact that God made a way for you to be saved, you should go on your knees and just cry out to God and, and, and thank him that he's even made one way. Because your own way, you're going to go to Jahannam. So whatever sin ah. you do, it, ah, whoa, it's okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So whoa, 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 whoa. You, you can't say that. You can't say that. Yes, I can. You're not God. No, no. I you're can judge God. righteously. You're not God. You don't, you, you can't say a person what? goes Listen, there, man, I don't know your name, man. What's your name? Maher. Ma what? Maher. Maher? Okay. If I died without God's way, I would have went to Jahannam. Jesus said, I am the way. I am the truth. I am the life. No one comes to God except through me. That's what Jesus said. Okay, in John 14, verse 6. So without that way, I would have went to Jahannam. So I'm telling you, without the way God has made, the only way, you're going to hell. So you have to... You have to Seek no, just, that way. Really, if we do good, we live a good life, we'll make it to Jannah. I but, just I just told you guys that no, no, living no. good is not gonna please God. No, no, no. I mean okay, that's so I have a question then yeah. after Muhammad. So did you pray? Sorry? Did, did you, you pray? pray? Do I pray or did I pray? No, do you pray? Do you pray? I do pray. How? How? So how? Where did you go? So do you go like to the grass or to the house? The Bible says in the New Testament, it says pray. Unceasingly, so you said like wow. the new pray testament. without ceasing. Okay, so Wait. always pray. Okay, okay. and Jesus how, how in the Gospel of Matthew, he showed us what how to did pray. You go to pray. What is your form of? You don't have to go somewhere God. to pray. Uh, no, so no, no, no. Jesus said so in John Kaaba, four. That came before the Muslim. So you direction. Know, direction. Direction. Yeah. Direction you know prayer. the direction when to pray, right? Okay. Everywhere. I want you so to look me. at this first, okay? In John four twenty four, this answers John your question, here, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. John 4 24 Jesus said God is spirit and those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth so look what he said before sense. yeah in spirit and truth so believe in the spirit the Holy Spirit yeah yeah not Jibreel but anyway look what he says before he says before our fathers worshiped on this mountain and you Jews say that in Jerusalem is the place where one ought to worship that's true Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when you will neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem worship the Father. You worship what you do not know. So isn't the Father God? We know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews. And then he says, but the hour is coming and now is when the true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship him so, so it doesn't Jesus matter it doesn't Jesus matter if you go to Jerusalem if you go to on a mountain if you go to so Hajj Jesus in here he said worship the Father Jesus he just said worship God Jesus is speaking right here yeah he said worship God said, no, I'm just answering him location wise or east or north or west Jesus says a time is coming this is what he said to a woman 2,000 years ago a time is coming where you don't have to go to Jerusalem you don't have to go on a mountain you don't have to go to Hajj you can pray and worship God in spirit and in truth so anywhere? Anywhere, of course anywhere. anywhere? God is greater than no, no, like, if you no, face no, one way. In the bathroom so if you, of course, God is greater than anything. So you can pray in the bathroom? You don't, I'm not telling you to go pray in the bathroom, but if you pray in your heart, you God seeks the, your heart. The Muslim yeah. God seeks you your heart. You say you pray every, yeah, everywhere. everywhere. God is beyond time, a toilet. He's, he's saying God okay? is bigger than all of this. Exactly, exactly.